think that we are here to find a reason to use our art to say something bigger and more important, particularly today, to reach across the divides of, of the world around us. They say, all right, well, if we want the country to be healthy, we got to get the economy going, and we have to have food systems going, and we talk about all these things, and then art is the thing that kind of you do last. And I was saying art should be integrated in how we think about the total health of ourselves and also of our country. We are a community. We need to take care of each other in order for our art form to continue and to survive. And it shouldn't be pitting admin versus artists. That's part of what I hope will continue coming out of this is that we do think of ourselves more of a, as a community structure rather than this hierarchical structure. It's really going to be those artists that have a compelling story to tell that are going to get the attention of journalists because they need to figure out how to uh, talk about a piece that they've been talking about over and over and over because every opera company does it. So it's going to be you and your voice and that quirkiness that's going to make a really interesting piece to um, write about. Your, your voice can only be where we're talking about controlling it. It can only be as wide as the inside of your teeth. Your mind is asking your brain to make a sound that big, and it can't do it. So it pulls things wide, and it ends up making the voice sound shallow so that it will give the impression of width. Does that make sense? I want them to go away with something. If they've had a bad day that, you know, they walk out of there and go, wow, oh, it wasn't so bad after all. I can give them a little joy, a little laughter, uplift them. That's what's important. That's why I keep doing this.